How's that for a masterpiece? Valued at $1,500. Any idea how it was painted? Well, there's our genius, loaded with talent. Jan Crawford of Studio City, California, asked to meet Don Hoster, who invented this unusual art form. Don's idea was to get back at abstract artists who claim to express an idea by splashing or dribbling blobs of paint onto canvas. As a matter of fact, Don's never dabbled in oils or painted a picture in his life. He lets the worms do that for him. To create a new art took some experimenting. Here's his first try. He calls it ecstasy in orbit. Not abstract painting, but stark realism, he says. Well, being the world's number one worm watcher, he'd noticed how worms come to the surface of a mud puddle after a rain. As they crawled around, they left peculiar graceful tracks, never the same. All Don had to do was get that pattern onto canvas. He calls this one rampage in a rope factory. So now, before our very eyes, Don Hoster will put his worms to work on a new masterpiece. Well, the artists are ready. A masonite board is his canvas covered with flat paint. The big painting we saw to begin with was in six colors, but this will be a subtle symphony in blue and white. Now, if you plan to try this, don't use watercolors. It'll kill the worms. But oil paint doesn't seem to bother them at all. They actually seem to like it. Linseed oil for thinning. Set paint in middle of canvas. Add worms. And stir well. Now, as everyone knows, you can't rush a worm. So our cameraman used what's called a time-lapse technique, which greatly speeds up the action. We'll see a painting that ordinarily takes a half hour, completed from start to finish in little over a minute. Well, out of the dish they go and right to work. have left the dish, Don takes it off so they can cover the whole canvas. And thanks to our time-lapse camera, their work's already done. All Don has to do is remove them from the canvas. As a reward, he'll take them back to the garden. He has worms of every hue and color crawling around his house. Talk about pink elephants. And there, Jan Crawford, is your worm painting. How'd you like to hang that on your living room wall? You asked for it.